Hey, welcome back. Bob the Vaping Computer Guy to another vlog. Uh, not a whole lot going on. A lot of uh, advocacy news, but I'm not going to go through it because most of it is crap and lies. So I'm <laughs> not going to go through most of that. But this will be a, a pretty quick pretty quick vlog. Um, I guess if you want to know what I'm vaping on, uh, pretty much everything. Been really enjoying this uh, this uh, Sticks by Strawberry Wafer. <laughs> Strawberry Wafer by Sticks. Uh, really good. Check out my review on that. It's um, just a very thick strawberry. Very nice. Been enjoying that. Um, what else? Uh, got that loaded s'mores in a in a unicorn bottle here. That's pretty good too. Like that better, I think, than than the regular sm uh, loaded um, glazed donuts. Uh, so that's all pretty good. Uh, a couple reviews coming up. The review uh, for pro hopefully all around the end of this week. I should have the Smoke G2 a review. I'm testing all these now. The Avocado RTA and the Hercules RTA. So try and get those all out within the next, uh, you know, seven days or so. Have those reviews out up for you. Uh, three decent uh, RTAs there. Um, let's see, what's in the news with vaping? I've gotten so much stuff, uh, so many articles sent to me in the last couple of weeks, you know, for my searches and everything else. But, um, you know, a lot of them are, are just silly. You know. So um, there's one up here. Let's see, this one's called Public Vaping of Marijuana Fueled Legislature's New E-Cigarette Rule. And I'm hearing a lot about this. This is getting more and more popular that people are getting, uh, you know, from what I understand, you know, these, these vaping devices, or per, per, they used to call them personal vaping, you know, devices, which we all call them mods. But these ones were kind of designed for marijuana. Um, well, it seems now I guess you can get marijuana, probably nothing new, but you can get not that I know about this stuff, but you can get marijuana, I guess, in a liquid now. Vaping it is uh, is much simpler, um, and I know people personally who have said it's great that it's better than smoking it. Um, not me. I don't do that. Never. Um, I actually tried it twice. Okay, and you know when I was really young, I was young. Tried it twice. One time did nothing. Next time I ended up with my head in the toilet for a half hour, sick afterwards. That was it. Never again. Anyway, uh, moving on. Um, yeah. So they say that that's you know picking up a lot. So they're really trying to cut that down and of course that hurts the vaping world because it's just something else they're gonna say people can do illegally uh, in most states anyway and um, you know so that doesn't help you know legitimate legal vaping um, but there are people doing that um, this was interesting this said Sedgwick count Sed Sedgwick Sedgwick County Commission to consider allowing vaping in county buildings so the first thing is I hate these articles when you find them and they just you, you can't find where in the country it was, but I think this is Kansas, from what I can figure out here. Uh, so Sedgwick, Sedgwick County commissioned to consider allowing vaping in county buildings. Um, that's really interesting, I thought, that uh, a municipality would actually allow vaping that doesn't allow smoking. Uh, so the Sedgwick County Commission will consider a change to the policy procedure manual regard, regarding regarding county buildings and, count, and county personnel within them. One of the changes will allow vaping. While smoking tobacco products is prohibited within the county buildings and within certain distances of doors and windows of Sedgwick County buildings, vaping and using e-cigarettes will be okay in some areas. Odorless devices which deliver nicotine to the user will be allowed in designated areas within the building. Now, I don't know what, what do they want you to vape. Nothing but, you know, PGVG or just VG. I mean, uh, odorless? You can't put menthol in it? I don't know. That seems a little ridiculous to me, so who knows, that'll probably be, uh, you know, their thing to get people to not use flavors. Why is my doors making noise like someone's coming in? There's, there's no, it's clicking over there like someone's coming in, but I'm watching all my cameras and nobody's coming in. I've got ghosts in my house. Um, the policy change is part of uh, the consent agenda that will be taken up on Monday. So I just thought that was interesting that some municipality might actually be changing their rules to say smoking's still not allowed, but vaping is. And obviously they'll have some rules on that, but um, that, that's that's a good news thing. That's you know that's interesting. Um, what's this one? Seeing tempting e-cigarette displays in shops encourages kids to start vaping. A study finds. Now my emotional response to any time I see these kinds of things that you know this is marketed towards kids, my emotional response is I get pissed because. I think, you know, you can't stop children who are walking next to their parents or whatever else from looking at things, okay? And it's marketed towards adults. Then I don't think these tobacco, tobacco, 
vape juice companies are out there saying, oh, let's put this on the box so that we can get that 12-year-old to want it. They're doing that so that it looks appetizing to you and me. When we walk in the store, we shop with our eyes. You see a box of Twinkies and it looks good. You think, boy, I really like to eat that. Well, it's the same idea when you go for a, a, a thing of juice and it has a nice package on it and it looks like a Twinkie and you think, oh, I like Twinkies. Maybe I'll like the Twinkie flavored e-juice. This is marketed towards adults. Um, if you're, you know, if you, you're finding more and more that vape stores are now in malls. That's, that's becoming a big thing. Before, mall rent, you know, renting space in a mall is really expensive. Um, I don't have exact numbers, but where you might rent a store in some town for $1,000 or $1,500 a month, you probably pay three times that, if not more, uh, for the same size store in a mall because of all the foot tra traffic you're going to get. Um, so we haven't seen vaping stores in there, but as vaping is becoming more popular and vendors are making more money off of this stuff, um, I think they're starting to be in malls and certainly at least kiosks in malls, as we know from another story that just hit, uh, which we'll get to. Um, so in a mall, it's kind of hard to stop kids from seeing these packages and stuff like that. Um, I think the only kind of maybe what they could do is not allow those kind of displays in the store window that you actually have to be in the store to see all the products and no one under 18 is allowed in the store. I think that's perfectly accept acceptable. Uh, us as adults will see a vape store and decide let's go in there and then look around and that's fine. We don't need to see bottles of juice that look like Twinkies in the store window in order to get us in the store. You know, I think that's absolutely fine. Um, but of course the whole problem is the more we allow a little bit of regulation, the more they're going to, it opens up the door for a lot of regulation. And that's, that's the hard part. But, re you know, what I was saying is my emotional response to this stuff is aggravation. But once they start doing studies, if they're done by legitimate um, universities or, or, or places that do studies and they're fair and, you know, and not biased in any way, you know, the facts are the facts. And if it is starting to affect that children are getting gravitating towards this, then, yeah, something needs to be done. So this is research into the habits of 4,000 youngsters. Youngsters, what age group? Uh, found that uh, enticing displays could lead to addiction. Well, of course it could lead. You know, I hate that. Shop displays of e-cigarettes are tempting children to try them, leading to possible addiction. A study found research by Sterling University into the habits of 4,000 youngsters is the first to establish the link. Study author uh, Catherine Best said, policymakers need to consider very carefully how, the, how to balance and promote e-cigarettes to adults uh, as an aid to help them quit, while at the same time... Um, minimizing the uptake by young people. So, you know, I'll put this a link in there. You can read more about this, and uh, they don't really give details about it. So many of these articles today are just two paragraphs. I mean, they tell you nothing. It's just somebody to, to, to put more, you know, to write an article, what they call an article. I don't call it an article. It's a, it's a quick statement. Um, and it puts bad press or press that's in their favor out there, but it's just, it's not really anything educational. Here is one that's really stupid and upsetting, and this guy needs to be fired from his job. So, MorningTicker.com, and again, this isn't even an article, it's just a couple statements here. Vaping is getting out of control by Dan Taylor on April 16th. Vaping is getting out of control. And of course, that's just a headline to catch your attention, but it's still aggravating. Um, the vaping fad, it's a fad. It's, it's going to be ending soon, just like 3D TVs, may officially be out of control, and it's not putting a dent in tobacco numbers, officials are saying. Do you think this guy should have a job, you know, writing like this? I don't. That's just my opinion, but, you know. A new report from the CDC and Prevention, well, CDC, it's part of, they now call the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, I guess, you know, I never, nobody says that, we all say CDC finds that in an, uh, in an average high school class of 30 students, seven of them were tobacco users in 2015, okay? That's about 4.7 million children and teenagers worldwide. No, that is just a study in the United States, and I'm sure it was probably in a limited area. If you're going to say seven out of 30 students, that may be in one state, in one county. I don't think they did a nationwide study, I doubt so to say, to take that generalization and apply it to the, to, to the whole country, you know, that's not accurate, not, not the right way to do a study. At this rate, 5.6 million Americans under 18 of age will prematurely die at some point from disease. 
um, says the CDC. Although conventional cigarette usage is starting to dip, the e-cigarette market has absolutely exploded. Meanwhile, they say it's not putting a dent in tobacco numbers. But one is dipping and one is exploding. So, unless they think people are doing dual cigarette and vaping, which I don't think is happening as nearly as much as they may be implying here. Um, e now, this is, this is a statement from the CDC director, Tom... Frieden, who's a doctor. E-cigarettes are now the most commonly used tobacco product among youth. E-cigarettes are now the most commonly used tobacco product among youth. There is no tobacco in an e-cigarette. I smoke cigars. Cigars are tobacco. Cigarettes, of course, have tobacco in them, among everything else. But e-cigarettes generally don't have tobacco. Even tobacco vapes usually are fake flavors. They're not real tobacco. What a ridiculous statement for the, a, a doctor supposed to be educated in charge of the CDC to say. Um, nicotine is an addictive drug, and use during adolescence may cause and lead to brain de uh, harm to brain de de harm uh, to brain development. Okay. You know, that's certainly true. We're very concerned that one in four high school students use tobacco, and that almost half of those use more than one product. Uh, directors of CDC Office of Smoking and Health, we know about 90% of all adult smokers first try cigarettes as teens, fully implementing proven tobacco control strategies could prevent another generation of Americans from suffering tobacco-related diseases and premature deaths. Um, yeah, like using vaping. Um, and again, we don't know the effects of long-term, you know, use, but um, I think generally 90, over 90% of any medical personnel person is going to agree it's not going to be as bad as uh, cigarettes with known carcinogens in it. But anyway, he says tobacco products are e-cigarettes e are tobacco products. That's just aggravating. Anyway. Um, and the one that's been on the news that everybody's been talking about, e-cigarette explodes, inflicting horrific injuries on New York teen. Now, this happened in the King's Plaza Mall in Brooklyn. I grew up there, all right? Um, I grew up right in that area of Brooklyn. I've been in that mall hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, I know it well. And uh, first of all, 14-year-old teen should never have had an e-cigarette in his hands. This is the personnel working at the store, and I read somewhere that it was only the woman who handed it to him. It was her second day there. Um, assuming she was an adult, she should know children are not allowed to use cigarettes or smoking products or vaping products, and handing it to a 14-year-old was stupid and also illegal. Um, the teen, obviously, he's 14, you know, I guess you're curious and stuff, you know, I, I don't know him, I don't know his parents, but I always think parents should be explaining these things, you know, to kids, you talk to your kids about drugs, you talk about sex, you talk about smoking, and you say you don't do it, and, the, you know, these things should all be well explained, but he went up to it, he, he reached out for it, they handed it to him, that's my understanding of this article so far, and I guess, I don't know how it exploded, I don't know what kind of device it was, um, you know, they haven't released that information from what I can see, um, but they say he is blinded because of something that exploded and hit him in the eye and it burned his hands. Um, and that's horrible, of course, especially, you know, a child. Um, but I'm sure we're not hearing all this. Now, I also read somewhere that there was someone standing, his father's a lawyer, by the way, so you know they're suing. Um, someone was standing by the door to the mall entrance handing out cards, I guess, advertising that kiosk. And he handed one to the kid, and then the kid went up to that kiosk. This is what I'm reading. He should not have handed that card even to a child. He should have been informed, the employee or the person hired to hand out the cards, adults only. You, obviously, you can't tell if someone looks 17, 18, 19, 20, but when you see someone and this kid looks 14, you don't hand them a, kid, a, a card advertising a product that's illegal for them to use. So there was a lot of stupidity that happened here, and uh, a 14-year-old paid the price for it because of, um, you know, the stupidity of adults doing the wrong thing. And there just needs to be more education on all this stuff because there's too many people that just don't care or just doing a job, handing out, you know, oh, sure, you want this? Here you go, try it out. 
you know, you, you, you that's, to me, it's exactly the same as for handing him a beer, you know, and you wouldn't do that. People think, oh, a beer, I shouldn't hand to him, but a cigarette or so, or any cigarette or something like that, they don't seem to have the same effect, you know, in people's minds that it's as bad. But, and this last one, vaping in public, yes or no? Um, I don't know what this is, Ashboro. I can't stand when they do this, and they don't say where, you know, where this paper is. Oh, I found it, North Carolina. All right, so this one says, Ashboro, North Carolina, should e-cigarettes be allowed in restaurants and pub other public areas? So this is a big question still. My opinion of it is, you certainly should not do it in restaurants. Um, I don't think you should be doing it in any places like that. You shouldn't be walking in a mall vaping. Um, I think pretty much anywhere you shouldn't smoke, you shouldn't vape. And I'll tell you why. I vape, obviously. If I'm sitting in a restaurant and I'm eating fish for lunch, and suddenly I'm getting hit with somebody's strawberry vapor, while I love a good strawberry vape, I don't want to smell your strawberries while I'm eating my salmon, okay? I don't want to smell your menthol vape while I'm eating a piece of steak. The two don't go well together, okay? And I shouldn't have to breathe your flavors and your smells and have your air freshener, basically, while I'm eating my food. I don't think that's right. I don't think if I'm sitting with my children that you're vapor, and we know whether you're blowing clouds or, or you're trying to stealth vape, I don't think that should be blowing in there. I just think that's respect. I don't think it's right or wrong for vaping. I think it's it's common courtesy and it's respect. Um, so what this talks about here is they, how restaurant owners in that area can't even get an, an answer from, from the municipalities about whether they're allowed to let people uh, vape or not. They don't even know what the laws are. Most people don't. This is all new. So they reached out to several restaurants and, and businesses and asked what their policies were. And this is the response they got. CVS which doesn't allow smoking anywhere on its corporate premises, has, no toler has a no-tolerance policy for the electronic version. McDonald's has banned e-cigarettes in its company-owned restaurants, but as of late 2014, leaves the decision up to owners at individual franchises. Walmart has an e-cigarette e uh, banned along with regular cigarettes in their smoking policy. Public schools of North Carolina Department of Public in uh, Instruction Issued a statement in 2014 stating that e-cigarettes are covered under its 100% no tobacco free. I don't know, so I guess they just reached out to the local schools. Um, it says e-cigarettes are not regula uh, regulated by tobacco products in North Carolina, blah, 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 blah. So basically, you know, a lot of places, and this is just North Carolina as an example, just don't know what to do with it yet. They don't have laws established. They don't know what to tell owners. Um, I think if you're not allowed to smoke somewhere... You shouldn't be allowed to vape somewhere. If you're in a state or a county that does allow it up to the business, then I think it should be up to the business. And I think a business should have every right to say that there's no smoking, but vaping is allowed. Um, if that's what they want to do, I absolutely support that. And, um, yeah, I mean, if, you, if they know you're not going to breathe, you know, uh, cancer smoke from cigarettes, but you're allowed to vape, that's fine. If they say vaping friendly and they want to do that, I think it's fine. Um, but this is still a very big open issue. So that's what's in the news lately. I'll have links to those articles below. Uh, what else? Um, next video coming up in a day or two will be a sample box. Uh, I will be giving away two free, two codes for two free boxes uh, of sample boxes. Two free boxes of sample boxes, yeah. Um, so you can get in on that. I haven't decided what we're going to do to give those away. You know, I don't do contests or anything. It's usually just, you know, comment below or something like that. We'll do something like that. All right, so we'll have two codes to give away two six juice um, boxes of Zample Box. And uh, so watch that review from them. That'll be great. Um, coming up this weekend, today is, what is today? Today is Monday, April 18th, 2016. On um, Saturday the 23rd is the American Vape Expo in Maryland. I have never been to this place. I don't know if they... Um, I don't know what they're, how big they are, but it's a one-day event, so I'm assuming it's not super large. Um, I'm wondering if any of you are in that area, or any of you have uh, been there, and uh, can tell us something about the event in the comments. Um, now, I reached out to them to find out more, because when you go to their website, AmericanVapeExpo.com, um, there's an area that says American Vape Expo, Maryland 
presenting sponsors and they have one and then they have check out some of our vendors for av 2k 16 get your tickets now and there's only six there vaping oasis um step above eureka juice mayville trading boondock vapes which i've heard of the vape squad distribution then they have a button that says sponsors and vendors you click on that and on the right side it says event vendors and there is i don't know maybe 50 listed there but at the bottom it says more vendors will be posted next week after we reconfirm with them the new date of november 8th so it felt like that was old and i hit the contact and filled out a form and i said hi i'm interested in attending and i'm just wondering um what this is about you know who else is going to be there i said you have six vendors listed can you please tell me more and they responded saying here's the application to set up a booth so i got those forms from them and i'm not setting up a booth i wasn't going to start trying to respond and say no that's not what i asked for give me what i asked for i'm a customer i want to go to the show who's going to be there? i didn't bother they didn't read my content my question all day long I deal with this with companies and anyway it's annoying they don't read so I don't know who's gonna be there really I don't know if this list is accurate I don't know if it's only gonna be six vendors there I don't know anybody been there in the Maryland area and you know about this show if you've been there before or you know anything else about it American Vape Expo it's uh, April 23rd 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Maryland State Fairgrounds in Timonium Maryland there you go I'll put a link below to that as well. So that's it for today. Uh, check out the uh, the sample box review coming up soon. I think it's mainly like um, I just opened it for a quick second. I didn't. Do, you know, I'm going to do it on camera while while I test it. Uh, I think it's got a lot of fruity vapes. So if you like fruity vapes, it'll be a good one, and you have a chance to win um, a free sample box. So check that out in a couple of days, and uh, I'll see you soon with uh, some reviews of some new mods that are coming up soon. Uh, what I say, the Smoke G2, the Avocado, and the Hercules are the three that I'm testing right now. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.